In a common worldview, the pathway to success centers on knowledge acquisition by experience through thought, experimentation, and recognized authorities. Essential to this acquisition is skepticism, wherein all acquisition is subject to doubt, meaning that all possible truths are treated only as possibilities. Continued experience brings understanding, which then fosters belief, the precursor to knowledge. Strategic knowledge enables acquisition, especially of wealth. Knowledge and wealth translate to power and influence over both things and people. The hope of the pursuit is that personal happiness will increase as one ascends to this pinnacle. In an LDS view, the pathway to success is a pathway of happiness found in the journey, not just in the destination. All are born with a divine light that can lead one to receiving a visit of the Holy Spirit in response to hearing truth and responding to its inner call. It is that same spirit that becomes the instrument of inner change, of progressively becoming more, as opposed to just doing more. The receipt of this visit is followed by a willingness to believe and then act as if the concept is true enough to make life changes. Acting on belief brings and enables understanding. This conversion brings the offer of a covenant relationship with Christ. Life then proceeds with the discovery of more truth through rationalism, empiricism, and authoritarianism, including revelation, trusting that God is the ultimate authority. These are then subject to skeptical analysis and testing of those things one has received through faith, converting doubt into researchable questions. Since the faith exercised by action is in Christ, trust in Him grows and He consequently empowers increasing capacity, synergizing the fruits of our labors. It is the real, measurable, personal interchanges and growth that fosters gradual certainty. As we become more through Christ, the Father eventually endows us with all that He has, eternal life, a life like His own power and influence sufficient to exalt all He creates. Now the first pathway, seeming to avoid self-deception, also inhibits full commitment to divine possibilities, resulting in the loss of divine synergy. It seems to pinnacle in power and influence, but actually only ends in the purported safe emptiness of death, and most certainly in the comfortable neutral ground of non-commitment. Men and women who turn their lives over to God will discover that He can make a lot more out of their lives than they can. He will deepen their joys, expand their vision, quicken their minds, strengthen their muscles, lift their spirits, multiply their blessings, increase their opportunities, comfort their souls, raise up friends and pour out peace. Whoever will lose his life in the service of God will find eternal life.